this is not a job. It is a calling. Uh, it, it is no different than the ministry or any other type of calling. And uh, it's a beautiful thing when you want to go to work because you, you can't wait for that first call. I personally think Bay County is the most blessed county in the world. We have such a, a great relationship with our other law enforcement, our, our EMS, our nurses, our emergency rooms, our fire departments, but I am, I am just blessed to have the people that work for me working for me. You know, I'm very fortunate that I work with some outstanding uh, men and women at the department. Uh, who take their job very serious and they do care about this community and I, and I see it evidenced in their work, I see it evidenced in the people I talk to, just the feedback that I hear and how they've had an impact just to keep doing what they're doing and uh, that they are making a difference and they are making it a better place uh, for people to come and work and live and play in this community. And thank you for your dedication to duty and yet put up with the things that we have to put up with and still try to go home with a smile on your face. I'm very proud of our firefighters about is being uh, involved in the community and they're not asked to do that by my office. They go out and they, they do this on their own. They see a need and they feel that need. They're amazing. I, I probably don't tell them enough how much I do appreciate them and uh, uh, you know every day I see them and what they do, how hard they work and uh, you know the job has changed in the last 10 or 15 years and uh, they're doing a lot more and it's only because of their dedication that that makes that happen. They're always doing something that's going to benefit not just the department but the citizens as a whole. We're changing the whole dynamic of not just our department as well but the services in general. I know a lot of times the chiefs and the managers always get the thank yous. Without the guys and the girls running up and down the roads, it wouldn't happen. So just a sincere thank you. You know, you're not going to do just law enforcement in in this profession. Uh, it is a, it's a, it's not just a, a job. It is a career. And if you only did the writing the tickets and taking people to jail, then uh, you're doing a disservice to your to your city uh, and the people that you serve because uh, that's only about a quarter or a third of the job uh, as a police officer. Um, you know, we, we get calls sometimes for, for individuals that are lonely because they haven't talked to their family members in a while. And I, I tell my officers, you know, instead of just going over there uh, and being there for just a few minutes, you know, take a look at the pictures on the wall and, and ask them a little bit about, uh, about that person. You know, there's, there's so much history and, and experience that you can learn from uh, the, the folks that we serve in our city. Their hearts are in it. They don't do the job for money aspect, it's all based on what they can do to help the community. The, uh, the gratitude is, is seeing the smiles at the end. When we're called, it's usually at people's worst times. So this allows us to help them out and the gratitude that they get out of it by helping the other people. I have an outstanding group of people that work for me. I have uh, one paid firefighter on every shift and we're fortunate that we have 17 volunteers. Well, there's no limit to my appreciation of the people that work for me. I mean, they go out there every day in a hostile environment. These are the guys that go out despite that, and they're there to serve. And I just appreciate uh, its bravery, its courage to go out there. I love everybody that works for me at Panama City Beach Police Department. Whether they're sworn or non-sworn, we're one big family. We couldn't do it without each other. It takes everybody from my communications, the dispatch, to the sworn officers responding to the calls, to the admin staff doing all the paperwork behind the scene. I couldn't ask for a better team. I'm, I'm honored to be part of their team and to work with them side by side. Well, people in uh, first responders, you know, they're, they're, it's a calling. It's not, it's not more of a, a job. It, it's, a, um, it's something that's in you that you just have to fulfill. They're our first line. They're our first line. They give up holidays. They give up weekends, work many long hours, and they really put their lives on the line every day. First responders as a whole needs to be thanked because without first responders, society would be a chaos.
First responders help protect us when we need them the most, when shots are fired, when there is a fire, and when crash victims need assistance. You are the first, the first to react, the first to respond, and the first to keep us safe. And you are the first helping hand when people need that the most. For this, on behalf of our clients, our staff, and our community, we say thank you. Thank you for your dedication, thank you for your service, and thank you for choosing to be a first responder.